This demonstration we look at creating an availability set. We'll also look at adding virtual machines to an availability set. The purpose of an availability set is to give us availability for our virtual machines in the case of either upgrades or in the case of faults. So the first thing we have to do is we actually have to create our availability set. And we're going to do that via our Azure portal. So come to my Azure portal, I'll select new. Then what we'll do at this point here is just in the search box, I'll just type in availability. And what we'll do is we'll go for an availability set. Then what we're going to do is once we get into the marketplace, what we're going to do is we're going to select the Microsoft availability set. Then what that will do is that will take us into a little wizard for us to fill out just to put in some information relating to our availability set. So we'll select create. Then what we'll do is we'll just wait for the wizard to pop up. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to call mine demo ES. Now in the case of the fault domains, if I just hover the mouse over here, it'll tell me exactly what a fault domain is. And what we can see here is we can see virtual machines in the same fault domain share a common power source and physical network switch. Now what I'm going to do just purely for purpose of this demo, I'm only going to have two virtual machines, so we'll drop that down to two for the fault domains. And in the case of the update domains, again if I hover the mouse, we can see here that virtual machines in the same update domain will be restored together during plan maintenance and as you will never restart more than one update domain at a time. Happy with my subscription. I'm happy with five for the update domains. What I'm going to do here is just create a new resource group. And I'm just going to call this demo ASRG1. I'm going to put that into West Europe. I'm going to pin it to my dashboard and I'm going to click create. Now that's going to go away. It's going to validate. And hopefully it'll come back. Validation successful. Then what we should see is it starts now creating my availability set. As you can see, everything is now successful. Next thing to do is to create some virtual machines. So let's go back to our new button. And in our new button, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new VM. I'm just going to create with Windows Server 2012 on it. So we'll go for Compute. And then within Compute, what we'll do is go for a Windows 2012 R2 Data Center. And then what we'll do is we will create a virtual machine as a resource manager virtual machine. And then all we need to start doing is just start filling out the table. So I'm going to call this virtual machine demo ESVM1, hard disk for the disk type, student, put in the password, specify the zero pass, specify the resource group. So I'm using the existing one that I created actually for the availability set. I'm going to store this in West Europe, so we'll select OK. Next question will be to choose the size of my virtual machine. And what I'm going to use for this virtual machine, I'm just going to use an A1 standard and we'll select. Just working down through the settings, so I'm happy with the creating a new storage account. I'm happy with the virtual network, the subnet, the public IP address and the network security group. Scroll down a bit further. I'm not going to bother with any extensions, but what I'm going to do at this point here is we are going to add it to an availability set. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go for demo AS. We're not going to bother with any diagnostics. And then we'll select OK. That'll bring us to the summary. All we need to do is have a quick read through the summary. I'm happy with everything in the summary, so we'll select OK. And what this will now do is this will now go away and start creating my virtual machine. So as you can see, it's submitting the deployment. So what I want to do now is I want to add an additional virtual machine to my availability set. So we'll just go through the same process again. We select New. Again, I'm just going to go with a Windows 2012 R2 data center virtual machine. Again, this will bring me into the table, exactly the same as before. So we will create this as a resource manager type. And again, what we'll do is we'll just fill out the table. So demo ASVM2, hard disk for the disk type, student for the username, put in the password, specify my Azure pass. Put it in the demo availability set resource group. Happy with West Europe yet again. We'll select OK. Exactly the same for the sizing. I'm just going to go for an A1. So we'll wait for this just to pop up. So we'll go for an A1 standard. Select that. Then that'll bring us into the settings. And again within the settings we're going to leave most of the defaults. So we're happy with the storage account. Happy with the virtual network, the subnet, the public IP address and the network security group. 
What we need to do though is we just need to add it to our availability set. So what we'll do here again, we'll go for demo yes. Again, what we'll do is we'll just disable the diagnostics. And then what we'll do is we'll select OK. Again, we'll have a quick read through the summary. We're going to be happy with the summary. And we'll select OK. And what it'll now do is it'll now go away and it'll now start creating the virtual machine. So, submit the deployment. Where it goes, if we just come back to the Microsoft Azure button, just go back to our dashboard. And if we just scroll along our dashboard. So what we can see here, you can see we've got our demo availability set. You can see it's now deploying the two virtual machines. Now in an earlier demo I've created virtual machines. So what we'll do at this point here is this is the end of the demonstration. After about 10-15 minutes we'll see that these two virtual machines were created and they'd be a member of this availability set. But like I said, that's the end of this demonstration of creating an availability set and adding virtual machines to that availability set. Thank you.